Would you believe me if I told you these two books are actually the same size? Because those books are both folios, and book size actually isn't really totally dependent on measurements. It's actually dependent on the number of times a sheet of paper is folded. We'll explain it with a regular sheet of printer paper, but in an antiquarian book, it probably would have started with a sheet along the lines of 24 by 16 inches, and you fold that sheet once in half, and that gives you a leaf size or a page size rather than 24 by 16, now 16 by 12, and that is a folio. If you fold it again, you've now folded it into fourths, and you now have a 12 by 8 inch sheet of paper for your page, and that is a quarto. If you fold it again, you're down to eighths, and as you might imagine, that is an octavo. These are standard book sizes, and so on down. There are also sizes in between that can be accomplished, uh, such as a duodecimo. The size of the sheet that you begin with will determine your resultant page size, and therefore you can end up with books that are very different measurements, but are categorically the same size. Follow Patrick's Rare Books for more educational content.